Joe Pye Wild is me. No, Joe, <laughs> Joe Pye Wild. The name Joe Pye Wild came from um, a combination of uh, childhood nicknames. I've been playing guitar since fall of 2009, so almost two and a half years. Um, I've been writing songs seriously for just as long. I wrote poetry before that, but I was never a, a songwriter before that, really. And sometimes at shows, I'm like, people are like, oh, well, what kind of music do you play? And I'm like, sad music. And they're like, oh, am I going to cry? I'm like, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not really trying to make people cry, um, I'm just trying to ex um, you know, express myself. Yep, Songs for Noah is my first EP that I released and I uh, produced it myself. I recorded it in my apartment with my microphone and interface and mixed it and did everything. All yourself? Yep. Oh. And I, uh, I even took the pictures on the cover and the back. Is, it is about my relationship with my dog, and it is untraditional because he is an untraditional dog. I mean, he's, he's, my, he's my muse. He's very sick, so I um, don't really know when he's going to leave. What makes Noah so special and untraditional is his attitude. Through this entire thing where he's, you know, not been walking, he went through doggy acupuncture, he went through hydrotherapy where he had to walk on a treadmill that was in a, in a like a, a tank full of water, and he hates water, first of all. Through all of that, through all of this, you know, trying to get better, trying to just recover and live, he's taught me so much because because of his attitude, he's just, he's so loyal to me that he believes in me that, that he will get better and that he's just, he just never gave up. How long have you had Noah? He's gonna be three in March, so almost three years. I signed with Vine because, um, first of all, Pat and I were friends first, and I like, trust him. And um, as I mean, signing with Vine is like me saying, you know, like I want to do this, like I want to. I'm, I'm, you know, putting all I got into. I'm investing in to Vine. I'm investing into my music. You know, it's me. Like that's another. It was a, a big decision to be like, yeah, I guess I want to do this professionally, um, so my goal with it is that I will be able to be self-sustaining and with my art. Um, it was definitely her voice. Her voice was what, you know, and you know, it was her voice, but it's, when it comes to music, it's not just somebody's voice. Someone can have a very beautiful voice, but the fact that she was able to take the lyrics and take her voice and put that with the melody, was, which was amazing, especially since it was a very simple melody. Because when you have a simple melody and you're trying to sing something, oftentimes it comes out very, you know, there's a lot of contrast, a lot of dissonance between the two, but she was able to easily just slap the two together. The plan right now is we're get, basically getting, you know, all the stuff that has nothing to do with music. We're doing all the, all the press and all that stuff, trying to get, you know, trying to get people to talk to her and trying to get her in front of, you know, as many cameras, as many papers, and all that so we can accumulate things so that we can start you know showing venues and other artists who you know potentially want to play with her or book her that you know she is the real deal she's got a lot of talent she's not just gonna waste people's time 
the next step for me is to just keep practicing and refining my skill. I know I'm not anywhere near where I will be soon, hopefully. I mean, I think, I mean, uh, I'm a very honest person and I feel like that is reflected in my music as well. Just because I feel like music isn't as good if it's not as honest.